Tanner, you're committed to Villanova. What was it about that program that you liked the most? Um, honestly, it was the coaching staff. Uh, that's something I wanted to make sure I got uh, figured out before I committed was just what kind of men are they. Um, that's something that's more important to me is what kind of men are they going to turn me into because um, I'm going to be a husband and stuff like that uh, for <laughs> the rest of my life, and football might only be for a few years after that. Um, so that was a big decision, just having a shot at the NFL um, from Villanova. The quarterback right now, Dan Smith, uh, he's – heading into the draft after this year. and um, He's actually the same size as me, so that was just something encouraging and something that I really looked into. Uh, J.R. Strauss from Exeter has committed to Villanova as well. Do, do you know J.R.? Um, I, I've talked to him. Uh, Gavin actually is good friends with him. He lists with him at Garage Strength, but um, he he actually, it was kind of funny. He got offered and I saw it on Twitter and I checked Instagram and he followed me. So I started like talking to him like, hey, yo, this is a place to be, this is a place to go. Um, and he was kind of debating between them and Princeton. Um, I, I like to take credit, but um, a decision that he had to make with his family, and I'm glad he ended up coming there because he he's an absolute freak, as you can see already this year, playing some big teams. So the, the Villanova coaches should thank you for, for getting him down there? <laughs> no, they did their job of recruiting him. He did his job and his family, just talking with them. Um, I know he's a big family guy, so I'm actually heading down to the game. Um, all the recruits are going to be down there this week for Bucknell. So. Uh, your brothers were real good football players, Owen and, and Charlie. Do you miss not playing with them this year? Oh uh, yeah, I, I definitely, I, I definitely miss playing with them. Just that brotherhood, even like I know our team was kind of like we're, we're a brotherhood and we were very tight, but uh, just like that family bond, like um, just throwing with Owen, I could trust him. I could close my eyes and throw up the ball to him, and I had full faith in him. Uh, Charlie, even though I played receiver, I loved it just because just having that connection and stuff to talk about. It was just, it, it was, it was an experience you don't really get a lot. So I definitely miss that. I know my brother and I as kids, we argued a lot. What about you guys? Oh yeah, we, we'd, we'd have arguments on who's gonna be the better athlete, who could do this, who could do that. Just part of, all of us are super competitive in everything we do. I mean, like, it, it, if you're telling us to eat something, we'll race to eat it. Like, that's just that's just how we are as a family. We're very competitive in everything we do, so. Well, since you mentioned eating, I like to ask some off the wall questions. So, who's the biggest eater on the football team? If there's a guy, you're in the lunch line, you don't want to be behind because there may not be anything left. Uh, who do you think could put away the, the most food? Put away the most food? I'd, just in general, probably cheese. Uh, Connor, Connor Letterman, uh, he's one of our big linemen, him or Noah, uh, they're big linemen. But just eating compared to his size, probably Dylan Fickus or me, to be honest. I eat a lot of food. Really? Yeah, I put on like 35, 30 pounds of food season. So. You feeling better now with the extra weight? Yeah. Uh, a lot more safe, I guess you could say, knowing I can take the hits. Um, not even at this level, I'm a lot bigger than everybody else here already, but just thinking next level, I'm going to need to put on size and you know, take some bigger hits. I, I know your dad is coach football. How much has he helped you over the course of your high school career? It's not really something you can put in words, to be honest. Uh, I watch film with him before I watch film with the te rest of my team, so we get film usually around like uh, the weekends, and I watch it on my own, and then I watch it Monday, compare notes, and talk with him. Just He thinks of stuff that I don't because he's been around the game a lot longer than I have. Um, and he's definitely shaped me into the player I am now. Uh, just the way I throw off balance is something we worked on just in, the, in our yard, throwing weird, we had built slant boards to throw off of and ran, just the most random stuff. But, you know, he's he's the he's the reason why I'm at where I'm at. Where do you think Fleetwood fits in, in section two of the Berks Football League this year? You know, why missing was in the state final last year. Conrad Weiser qualified for districts. Hamburg and Twin Valley, both 2-0. Uh, how do you think you, you stack up against some of those teams? I mean, we're a good team. I think what it comes down to is something that we stick to is alignment, assignment, and execution. If we do those three things, we can be at the top of the section. Uh, we can be fighting for that first place spot, and we can do stuff like that. And we can definitely make it run for districts. And it's just whether or not you can, I mean, that's pretty much for every team, whether or not you can get down to alignment, assignment. That's something that we're getting down to now, uh, especially the execution part. Um, we're just getting better at defense. We've been getting a lot better. we got a lot of dogs on the defense. So we're looking a lot better. What was the biggest difference from week one to, to week two? Um, we just eliminated mistakes. I threw two picks within the first half, which is almost more than I threw my whole career as a quarterback, which is kind of crazy to think. But that was just me making stupid decisions, and that's something that I limited out and I cut out going week two. Was just I thought, OK, let's let's live for another down. Um, and honestly, just sticking to what we got. We didn't really change a lot. We just fixed we were trying to perfect what we already know and what we already do. Um, and then just kind of hand the ball to Gavin more. Because as you see, Gavin picks up like nine yards carry. Why wouldn't you want to hand off? I'll be the best guy at handing off the ball. I don't care. I, 
Keep it simple, yep. right? Yep. Uh, let me ask you, I know you're obviously real busy with film and practice and playing games. What do you like to do for fun when you're, when you're not playing sports or working out? Um, I work. If, if not doing that, film. Um, I'm not as big of a workout guy, but that, other than that, eating. I, mean, I don't play video games or anything like that. I don't, I don't even no know. video games? I've never owned video games. Fishing, never. golf, anything like uh, that? I enjoy fishing. I've never been golfing. I always have one or two. Um, but no, I just work. I'm, like Everybody always calls and says I'm a workaholic. <laughs> so. Well, your Villanova coaches will love to hear that. Yeah. Appreciate your time. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you.